Last time on Round Sailing, we explored the San Juan Islands in northern Washington state. We turned Ron into a hair saloon. Hiked on Stewart Island and then cruised north to Sush Island. A big low pressure was coming our way. So we decided to go south and find an anchorage with shelter from the strong southerly winds that were forecasted. Okay. Okay. Now we go, but we're not going out the way we came from. We came in, there's a lot of current there now and it's shallow. So we take another one extra mile and then go around this little susha instead. We motored 16 nautical miles south to Shaw Island and Blind Bay, a big bay well protected from southerly winds. To keep track of the amount of chain we're letting out, we have colored markers every 10 meters. Sure we let out 40 meters of chain in 5 meters of water. Oops! Oops. I got it. <laughs> I'm changing the handle to this rope clutch. Um, one of the sheet lines snagged around here as we were tacking our way up to Ganges on Salt Spring Island and it snagged around the handle and it broke it off but we have a spare one so i'm just gonna change it now got some assistance here yeah. we need a screwdriver just to get it out it wasn't as easy as uh, we thought to take this out properly there is um, like a tube inside like a, a metal tube going through and to get that out we think we need to take this whole thing uh, down the handle was put together by many small parts which took some memorization to know how to put it back I think it's ready to go back on the mast. While I was making a mushroom risotto for lunch, Johan sanded and varnished a wall. It's been a really windy night and rainy. 
But now it looks alright. It's still overcast and I guess there will be some rain today as well. But the wind has dropped. Uh, at least in here. So today we are going south. Around uh, 10 nautical miles. To another anchorage. And we'll probably going to spend one or two nights there. Before we continue to um, Port Townsend down south. It's about 25, 30 nautical miles down there. Over more open wa water. I opened the lazy bag and prepared to hoist the sails. So we're trying to get some decent sailing done in here between the islands but it's not very easy today <laughs> the wind is shifting a lot both in direction and in speed and the angle is changing about 90 degrees because we're so close to this island here so we'll see what will happen in a minute or so here oh now it's picking up again Yeah, it's very gusty today. The wind speed is going, changing 15 knots up and down. So we're on the limit when the wind is up. So we arrived to, I don't know what this bay is called, but it's, this is Lopez Island, so it's further south on the island. So we have land to the south, facing south, so we'll be protected from those winds. Uh, right now there were strong westerly winds, but later today it's gonna uh, turn to the south and it's gonna be like 30 knots from the south during the night. And tomorrow we don't, we're not sure how it's gonna be, but bad thing here is that we cannot go ashore. There are big signs there saying it's private land and private beach. And we haven't been ashore now for two days. So my legs are itching a little bit. I wanna, I would like to go for a walk, but yeah. Uh, Just hanging out inside here of the boat, reading and making pizza. It's a bit of a yeah, gray day outside. So it's so cozy in here. Why should we go out when it's windy and gray? <laughs> the heater is running. It's like 20 degrees Celsius in here, and it's just we're making pizza and I'm reading on my Kindle. I'm reading a book of Haruki Murakami at the moment.
She looks good. This new oven is, uh, is light years from the old one. It goes so much faster to to use the oven and to cook in there. And yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I guess the insulation is like so much better. And, Hmm. It was pouring down the whole night, and in the morning we left San Juan Islands for Port Townsend, in the northern part of Puget Sound. Townsend, but we yeah we don't really know where we should go here. There's no personnel. Today it's Sunday. We found an empty spot on the outer dock. So we're here in Bolt Haven in Port Townsend, and. Uh, now we're going for a walk here into town. This marina is a little bit, it's just out of the city center or the town center. So the town is in that direction. Townsend seems to be a really good place to get stuff done on your boat. They have a long tradition with boat building here and uh, there's even a school I think that, uh, for widow boats. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different ship chandlers and uh, workshops for welding and all kinds of stuff. And the marina is big and these cranes, one of them is uh, can haul a boat up to 300 tons, I think it is. Port Townsend is one of three Victorian seaports in the United States. And the town was planned to be what Seattle is today, the New York of the West. The speculations were that it would be the largest harbor on the West Coast, and a building frenzy took place in the late 1800s. But when the Depression hit, the town lost its capital to continue to build. And when the railroad was built on the east side of Puget Sound instead of up to Port Townsend, there was a rapid declination in population and the boom was over. The maritime history of Port Townsend goes back to the late 1700s. And today many independent boat builders can be found here and every September the town hosts the famous wooden boat festival. The Northwest Maritime Center is a place for workshops and events in maritime skills and trades. They have like uh, courses in boat building, navigation, all kinds of stuff here it's revolving around boating and traditional boating and mostly I think. So it's kind of cool. I think they, the two boats down here it's uh, a commercial restoration that they do for private owners I guess. 
but there's a lot of stuff going around there. Uh, I think they have some courses on how to build uh, kayaks and canoes out of wood, but also bigger boats. Looks pretty fast, huh? Really cool construction. All built in wood. Walking back to the marina in the uptown, we passed by several beautiful Victorian houses and spotted some wild animals in people's yards. Our next stop would be Seattle, 39 nautical miles south in Puget Sound. There were many vessels around us that we were trying to avoid, and we were also fighting a northerly current the whole way, making Ron go slower than usual. for the year. It's the end of October now and uh, we're gonna work on Ron for a couple of weeks and then we will fly home for uh, to celebrate Christmas and to visit our friends and family. It's been um, a year and a half since we were home the last time so it will be really really nice to go home. So now we're heading to West Seattle, that's what the area is called in Seattle, to Island Harbor Marina. Uh, that's where we're gonna stay for these weeks. Uh, we actually got to borrow our patron Kenneth's uh, sleep there. So it will be great. So it's gonna be full focus now on boat work. So this uh, industrial island here next to us, they say it's the biggest artificial island in the US and it looks pretty massive. So ahead of us there's a couple of bridges that we need to go under and I think the first two are not a problem but there's a railroad bridge, the third of them and uh, it's only 44 feet when it's closed, when it's down and, uh, but we've been told that it should be open so hopefully it is Oh look! <laughs> he caught a really big fish He's chasing it. Yeah. What a place to live, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out that the first bridge was only 58 feet at the moment, the clearance, 
and we're 63 at least, 64. So yeah, we had to call them, but luckily they're going to open the bridge for us now. It's a swing bridge. So yeah. With Ron tied up to the dock, we jumped in the car with Kenneth to go to his house where a special dinner awaited us. <laughs> We're going to have a Swedish dinner in the US. Really nice Swedish meatballs. Lino Silt. Swedish cheese. Knäckebröd. Jotmus nästan. Yeah. It'll be delicious. <laughs> so the dinner was great. And we're back on the boat now. And um, Kenneth has uh, picked out some uh, presents, Swedish presents for us. <laughs> like a goodie bag. Swedish goodie bag. What do you say, Malin? Nice, huh? Uh, this is like... Um, yeah, smoked roe, I think it's called in English. It says here. So it's like a... Uh, Fish egg. Yeah, but what's the name for that? Uh, caviar. Yeah, it's like smoked caviar, Swedish type. It's uh, actually really nice on egg. And let's see. And some wine. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Kenneth. What a welcome. Yeah, what a welcome. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell to be notified when there's a new episode. Puss puss!